Good. We're going to go ahead and open up a new document inside of Procreate by tapping the little plus sign. And I'm going to make it a square. I'm going to go with inches and I'm just going to go with, uh, I think, six uh, wide by six uh, tall there. And it gives me lots of layers, has lots of memory. Uh, it doesn't really matter for this particular thing that we're doing, but it's good to know that. And um, I'm going to go ahead and call this six by six. Uh, just so I can find it again and create and it'll open it right up for me inside of my workspace. Okay, the next thing I want to do is um, be able to see what I'm working with on a grid. So I'm going to go ahead and go over to my wrench here and uh, canvas and I'm going to tap the drawing guide and then edit the drawing guide. And um, the color seems all right for the, the grid but I want the size to be different. So I'm going to go over here to the grid size and tap the number, tap inches, tap one, and now I have a nice little one inch square uh, grid there. And when I'm satisfied with that, I can tap done and done. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is make sure that I have black selected and I'll just take black from there. Or if you're in the disc, you just tap black so you get the black color. And then I'm going to go over to my brushes and I'm going to go down to um, calligraphy and select monoline and this is just a tool that comes with a brush that comes with procreate uh, standardly so uh, now I'm going to go ahead and draw on this canvas I'm going to go ahead and draw um, a circle and I don't have to be perfect I just want to make sure that I leave my pen down until it connects and I can uh, invoke the smart shapes so let's go ahead and do that we're drawing a circle sort of <laughs> And then I'm going to just wait right here. And then it says edit shape. I want to move this up and over. And I'm going to tap circle. And now it's a perfect circle for me. I'm not going to mess with its uh, position just yet. I'm just going to tap out into the workspace to accept this shape. And then I'm going to go over and tap the little arrow, which is my move and scale tool. And then I can start adjusting the position of this. And so right here, I'm going to line this up on these middle line. So there's a little dot right here and a little dot right there. And so I just want to make sure that my circle is lined up on those dots so that it is actually centered. And once it is, and I feel satisfied with this, um, actually it looks like it's good on the margins too. So it really truly is centered. I'm going to tap that uh, move tool to turn it off. And now I'm going to go over to my layers palette, tapping the little layer palette sign there, and then slide gently to the left and tap duplicate. And I'm going to do this four times. <laughs> all right. All right. So then once I have all of these uh, du duplicate shapes, I am now ready to play with the rest of this pattern here to make the linked circles. So with this top layer uh, selected, I'm going to go ahead and tap the move tool. And then I'm going to move this layer. And the key really for this is to just line up these dots again on these center lines and that's it. And when I have that done, I just tap out, select the next layer and do the same thing, but I'm going for all four corners here. So putting those circles in the corners and then just making sure that the, the uh, square edge is lined up on the center and those center lines. And that looks good. And I'm just going to look and see, like, they're a little bit tighter right here than they are right here. Um, that's okay with me. I, um, the, they'll, it'll, it might show a little bit like a, a, a thickness there. Um, we'll just wait and see what happens when we actually see our pattern, if we can live with it. Other, you know, I think it's going to be all right. But if we need to, we can move these down just slightly and uh, uh, make it so that it's all the same on all four uh, center lines there. But for now, I'm satisfied with this. I think this is good enough. Um, so now I'm going to go over here and tap my wrench, share, and save this as a JPEG. Where is it? There it is. Okay, and I'm just going to save this to my camera roll here. Okay, and now I'm just going to make invisible all these layers. And I'm going to select that top layer and add a new blank layer on top there. Okay, and that's just to play with uh, the pattern when, we, when we've made it. So now I'm going to go over to my brushes and I'm going to tap this little plus sign here, which will create a new group, or sorry, a new uh, brush for me. 
And let's see, actually, before I do that, let's go over here and create a new, a new group. Tap this plus sign. And that way we have a place to put our new brush and we can find it easily. So uh, we're just gonna call this patterns. And you can see I do this a lot. So, <laughs> so I've got a couple in here already, but we're just gonna do this for this demonstration here. And when we're satisfied with that, we can close out the uh, title uh, text uh, keyboard. And then with that selected, with pattern selected, then we can tap this little plus sign. And this will make a new brush for us. So we're not gonna, let's see, the spacing, I, actually I'm gonna take this down to none. And then taper, we're just gonna leave that as is. Shape, this is what we're gonna change here. We're gonna edit this shape and we're gonna go into import. And we're gonna go to the source library. And instead of a shape source, we're actually gonna take a green source and we're gonna select blank. And when we're satisfied with that, we're just gonna tap done. Actually, let's see, do I want that to be square? Eh, it's fine. I think we're gonna be fine there. Okay, now with grain, we're going to edit that and we're gonna import and we're gonna choose a photo, import a photo. And then we're gonna look at all of our photos and we've selected this one that we wanna use and when we're satisfied with that shape, we're gonna tap out in the workspace and now I'm gonna use two fingers and tap it to invert the color here because whatever is white is what will show up for our pattern in our brush. Okay, when I'm satisfied with that, I'm gonna tap done. Now, I'm gonna look at these settings here and I do want this to be moving and I do want the movement to be rolling. Um, let's see, I'm gonna play with scale a little bit. I think I'm gonna tile that down, maybe even just a tad more. And then zoom, I'm gonna bring that down to about 50% and that looks pretty good. And it's a nice uh, thick pattern here, which I really like. Now, if you don't like the way that this is sort of boxy when you're using your finger, we can go back up to um, the shape here. And instead of a square, we can edit that, import, go back to source library, back to grain source. And instead of a square here, we could choose, um, actually, let's go back to shape source. We can choose like this soft um, shape right here. And we're satisfied, tap done. Okay, and now that gives us more of a soft sort of um, spread when we're using our finger. And I don't like how slow that's going, so let's look at the stroke path here and see what's going on. Uh, seems like that's okay. It might just be a memory thing, yeah. Okay, so that looks pretty good. And let's see, anything else that we need to do? I don't think so, I think that'll do it for us. Let's go ahead and tap done. And then let's go ahead and try out our pattern here. So you can see this pattern will grow and shrink which means this is the type of pattern that we want to make sure that when we're laying it down, we leave our finger on the canvas until we're absolutely done. So let's say I want to just, uh, you know, fill this little square area. I just keep my finger down until I filled the whole square area and then I could pick up. If I picked up my finger during the process, I would accidentally go over it and change it, which in some cases you might want to do, especially if you're using this particular pattern to do some sort of uh, shading. Um, but for scrapbooking purposes, you probably don't want to do that. So you just leave your finger on the canvas until you're done with the area that you're, that you're covering. And that's it.